In today's video, we are going to take a look at one strategy that you can be using to improve your relationships with your co-workers or in general with other people in your life. Hello and welcome. My name is Peter B and I welcome you here at My First Million, where we are achieving our financial goals together. So in general, this is a personal finance channel. However, one part of personal finance is also earn money. And for earning more money, you need to be able to build good relationships at work with your peers, with your boss, um, with your customers, maybe if you have your own business also with your vendors and so on. And one strategy how you can improve those relationships is give them actively genuine constructive feedback. Genuine constructive feedback. Let me give you an example with the following real life story that happened to me recently. At work, I am frequently working on many different projects with a lot of different teams. And when working on a project, it's, it usually takes some evolution until we get to the solution of the project, how to solve an issue, how the, uh, the implementation will look like. So at first, maybe we have one solution in mind. Over time, maybe the solution will be modified a second time, a third time, or maybe even a fourth time. And after an evaluation process, we will finally know how the solution will be looking like. So as you can hear from my accent, I'm not an English native speaker, of course. Um, I studied English starting at high school level. So before that, I even didn't study English. So my basic understanding of English sometimes have some lags and my knowledge is not always there where it should be when it comes to using um, the right words at the right situations. So recently, after a meeting, a friend and mentor pulled me aside and told me, Hey, Peter B, I want to give you a feedback. You, you really should try to avoid using the term final solution when we talk about projects. I wasn't aware until that point that the term final solution is related to the Holocaust. This is the English translated term of what the Nazis were using um, to describe the Holocaust. Receiving this feedback gave me quite some shock because I wasn't aware of that at all. Moreover, or even worse, I was frequently using the term final solution when it came to like a project solution. So I felt very embarrassed using the term when this friend and mentor finally hit me up on this. But at the same time, I felt very grateful because with this feedback, I have the chance to improve myself. I have the chance to correct myself and use the proper terms for the proper situations. So you can see when you give genuine constructive feedback, it will be helpful for the person. They get a chance to improve themselves. Like I got the chance to improve myself thanks to the feedback here. And this kind of genuine constructive feedback will strengthen a relationship. You will get the feeling that you can trust this person. This person will help you out when you're making a mistake. This person will jump in for you when he see a, a flaw and will help you to cover and resolve those issues that you're upcoming. So I too would highly encourage you to use this strategy to improve your relationships, especially at work, but also in life in general. But make sure that your feedback is genuine and your feedback is constructive so that the person can take this as an input to improve himself. If I could give an additional recommendation, I would say usually don't give the feedback publicly in front of a group of people. Instead, pull this person aside like my friend did on a quiet moment or an occasion that you're just alone with this person. Like this 
you will avoid um, falling victim to embarrass that person in front of other people. What is your approach of giving feedback to your co-workers? Please write in the comments below. Also, do you have any recommendations how to make sure that um, the feedback that you're giving are well perceived? Thanks a lot for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video and especially I look forward to seeing you winning financially.